Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about business operating systems and why you need one. All right, so what is a business operating system? I've been getting really interested in this lately and the main reason is because we didn't have a business operating system at Kendara, my previous company, and it caused so many problems. It caused problems with personnel, it caused problems with staying focused on our goals, it caused problems in switching from thing to thing to thing. So after I left Kendara, I got interested in what are the business operating systems that exist out there and what are the pros and cons of the different ones and how do they all work. So today in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've learned and what I've learned, not just learning about business operating systems, but applying them in the companies that I work with. So first of all, what is a business operating system? So a business operating system is a set of principles by which you run the business. Similar to a, an operating system on your phone or on a computer, if the phone or the computer didn't have an operating system, the phone wouldn't know how to route everything. Like, let's take the phone for as an example. So iOS is the operating system on my iPhone. iOS has ways that it works. When I pull down, I get to search. When I double tap the home bar, the home button, I get, to, I get to pull back. You know, there's certain things that always work the same way and I can expect them to work the same way. Well, that's the same as a, in a business operating system. When you implement an operating system in your business, there's a certain way that you do things, that you run the business. Every business doesn't need the same operating system, but I think it's crucially important that a business has at least one, and actually only one, operating system. So the operating system determines how the business runs. And I'm gonna, I'll give you three examples of, of operating systems. Well, actually before that, you know, the most, the simplest form of an operating system for a business is a weekly meeting. You know, you have a weekly meeting every week and you decide what you're gonna do and then you meet the next week. That is a simple form of business operating system. It's not a very good business operating system, but, but that is an operating system. And it turns out that there's been obviously, as you would expect, a lot of research and inquiry and work done on building more complex and more sophisticated ways to run a business to harness human potential and align it all in the same direction. So I have found three that I really like and I'm gonna quickly, I'll go over them quickly and talk about the pros and cons of the different ones. So the three business operating systems that, that I like are, one is EOS, which is the entrepreneurial operating system, which was created by a guy named Gino Wickman and their organization is called EOS Worldwide, check them out. Uh, the second one is called The Great Game of Business, by Jack Stack, and I'll put links in the description so you can, you can get links down there. And the third one is OKRs, which I've done a couple videos on, which stands for Objectives and Key Results. And these were invented by Andy Grove at Intel and then popularized by Larry Page and Sergey Brin at Google and John Dewar, the, the venture capitalist. So those are the three that I like the best. EOS, Entrepreneurial Operating System, The Great Game of Business, GGOB, and OKRs. So those are three examples. If you're interested, go read about them, learn about them. I have some videos on those different operating systems as well. So those are three examples. And why have a business operating system? Like, what's the benefit of implementing an operating system in your business? Why did I title this video, You Need an Operating System for Your Business, or Your Business Needs an Operating System? So there's three main benefits that I see and that I've experienced with the companies that I work with as we've been implementing some sort of operating system for them. And I'm gonna go over those now. So the, the number one benefit of having an operating system in your business is that it provides structure. Like it provides an external structure for how things work, which means that the people operating inside the structure don't have to worry about it, think about it, fight about it, get in conflict about it, think about changing it, you set it and you forget it, and that's the structure inside which the business operates. For example, if we look at the great game of business, in the great game of business, there's this concept of a scoreboard. You have this big scoreboard, and you're projecting your revenue for each month, and every week you have a huddle where that brings everybody together, and everyone shows up to the meeting with the numbers that they're responsible for, and they predict whether they're going to hit the number for this month 
or if they're going to exceed it or if they're going to fall short. And they do this every week. So every week you do the huddle, predict, talk about it, go back to work. And this provides a structure so everybody knows what they're responsible for and they know they got to show up and they know they got to do the meeting and it's very clear what the goals of the business are because the goals are baked into the structure. That's the other part of providing structure is that if done right, the operating system will communicate the goals of the company through structure, through context. That is the most powerful way to communi any, communicate anything is through context. By setting up a structure that people live inside of that holds the context of the organization, like holds the goals of the organization, it makes it way more likely that the business is going to meet its goals this quarter, this year, over the next couple of years. Providing structure is the first main benefit of a, of a business operating system. The second big benefit is related, but it's around accountability. That having an operating system provides accountability. Because the structure exists and the structure is transparent, it's very hard for people to hide. You're setting goals, you're checking to see if the goals were achieved. You're setting new goals, you're checking to see if those goals were achieved. You have a record going back of what you said you would do. You can look at what you did do. You can look at what you say you're going to do. So it provides accountability. And for startups, this is really important because it can be really easy to have no accountability, not have goals written down, not say this is what we need to accomplish this year and because of that we're gonna work on this this quarter and this next quarter, et cetera, et cetera. It can be really murky inside a startup, especially if the CEO or founder is a visionary type person and it turns out that most CEOs and founders are visionary type people. It can be really cloudy and hard to see what is happening, what needs to happen now, what are the goals right now, what needs to happen next. So business structure provides accountability for a business operating system. If you want to have accountability in your organization, you're going to need some type of business operating system. And then this brings me to the third benefit of having an operating system is that it harmonizes effort. This is probably the most important thing inside a company is whether everybody is pulling in the same direction. Like I love the metaphor of a ship and the CEO is the captain of the ship. And people are hoisting sails, they're rowing, they're bailing water, they're you know, making lunch for all the sailors. Is everybody pulling in the same direction? Like if you picture everyone rowing, there's a storm, maybe everybody hops on the oars. Is everyone rowing in the same direction? That is what causes problems in startups, especially between the leadership team. If people on the leadership team or in the co-founder team are rowing in different directions, that you can picture a boat, it's actually a great metaphor. You picture a boat where people are rowing in different directions and the boat is just going around in a circle. And I see that with a lot of companies where they're going around in a circle or they're making progress but it's so much slower than it could be if they were aligned and, and rowing in the same direction. And an operating system helps to align human effort to get everybody pushed in the same direction. So that's the benefit of having an operating system for your, benefit, for your business, those are, those are three benefits. There's many more, and I think this has been one of my most valuable and exciting discoveries personally is finding that there are operating systems, uh, Great Game of Business, EOS, OKRs, there's probably others. If you know of another one, please add it in the comments. I'd love to learn about it. But for me, learning that there are these operating systems and that there's, there's structures inside of which you can build a business, it's like a, an operating system is like the Petri dish in which the business is going to grow, or the, the operating system is the, the soil in which the tree is going to grow. It's the context inside of which your ideas are going to be made real. So for that reason, it's so powerful in my mind and so exciting to know that these are out there, that they can be implemented, and if you're building a company and you don't have an operating system, like a, a standardized procedure for how you're building the company, I would advise you that this is the highest leverage thing you can probably do for your company is to implement some sort of business operating system so that you can have the structure, you can have the accountability, and you can have the harmonizing of human effort that happens inside that type of context. So that's what I got for you today, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. If you have topics or ideas for topics for future videos, please leave those as well. Uh, head over to socialimpactceo.com. There's free startup resources there and 
tools to help you implement an operating system for your business, as well as a bunch of other free stuff that will help you build a company that goes out and changes the world and makes the world a better place. So with that, we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.